morning, everybody. Welcome to Gaylord Family Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. Now, please join me in welcoming the athletics director at the University of Oklahoma, Joe Castiglione. Good morning. Good morning. Well, with this chill in the air and surrounded by a sea of crimson and cream, the pride of Oklahoma, the cheer, the palm, the roughnecks, and boomer. You know what it means? It's football time in Oklahoma! Thank you to everyone that's here. Wow, what a crowd. I get, looking out, I see so many former players here. Maybe the largest group we've had ever. And thank you for coming back. We've got... Uh, champion of all kind, even one that just won a Super Bowl championship that's out there in the crowd. So for being, especially our former players. What a special time. What a special time that we celebrate this morning. I promise you we do recognize what the weather is and we're going to try to move the program along, but we do need to recognize some very, very special people that are here. Um, First, our great president for over 24 years and the first lady of the University of Oklahoma, David and Molly Shy Boren. <laughs> president Boren will have some remarks here in a few moments. And we are really excited to welcome our president-designate, Mr. Jim Gallagly. I know people are still coming in here, but uh, the chairman of the University of Oklahoma Board of Regents, uh, Clay Bennett, and his wife Louise, are going to be here if they aren't already. I know they're still coming in, people. Uh, Regent Bill Burgess is joining us. Regent Zy Stone is joining us. Regent and former Governor Frank Keating is joining us. Vice President for University Governance, Purcell, is here. And of course, we're going to introduce here in a few minutes. Uh, the many members of the Stoops family. But there are other special guests. Uh, we want to welcome the president of the Heisman Trust, Mr. Rob Whalen. <laughs> Between last night and tonight, we, uh, this afternoon I should say, we've had many of our Heisman winners with us. I see one in the audience right now. And happy to see him and Barbara. Mr. Steve Owens. I know Jason White is here somewhere. Sam Bradford is here. There, 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 there he is. I, I know Sam Bradford is back somewhere. He might be out there. We saw him last night. And uh, I know Baker Mayfield was a um, possible uh, attendee, but he is running around so many different places in the United States in preparation for the draft. So if we get a chance to welcome him, did he, did he make it? Okay, hold on a second. So if he's, uh, if he's here somewhere, um, we'll welcome him. And then of course, I, I saved this person for uh, not last, but an appropriate time to stand up and give us the famous boomer Heisman Trophy winner, Billy Sims. Thank you, Billy. And the person that uh, was involved in bringing some of those Heisman winners here especially that one that was just on that chair. <laughs> the King. <laughs> Former coach, Barry Switzer. <laughs> I know, um, <laughs> I know uh, Jay Wilkinson is, uh, did Jay 
Jay was uh, maybe out here. Is he, did he make it? There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the family of Bud Wilkinson, his son, Jay Wilkinson. You'll have to pardon me. I know with some of the tie-ups, there are people that are coming in, so we'll catch you as soon as we see you. And then a uh, person that was involved in um, bringing uh, the, this job to my attention, certainly involved in a you know, search when we hired Coach Stoops, a person that uh, served as commissioner of the Big 8 and then came back to be the commissioner of the Big 12 is here with his wife, Patty, Chuck Nine. It takes a lot of people to make events, to make something like this happen. We had a special event last night. Things that we do on this campus, um, many of you stepped forward and helped us in a very special way. Uh, there are some people here that were involved in this statue project. In fact, all of the coaches' statues. We had this uh, vision of creating a coaches' courtyard when we redesigned the South End. And by the way, on May 5th, we'll be dedicating the South End of the stadium here, right out here in front. And uh, we want to invite each and every one of you back. Right after the ribbon cutting, everybody will have a chance to tour the entire South End. And so we hope you come back on uh, Saturday, May 5th. But uh, two people that were very involved in this coach's statue project, along with the statues in Heisman Park, are here, and I'd like to ask Mr. Lee Allen Smith to stand, and Jennifer to stand, Jennifer Kirsch, and Blake Way to stand. And I want to thank you all for everything that you've done in helping us salute and celebrate so many special people that have made the Oklahoma tradition what it is. I mentioned Coach Stoops' family. I think about all the things that we've done here at Oklahoma, and I think about Coach Stoops' priorities. Family has always been at the top, and trying to bring each and every one of us into his family, to have what we call the OU extended family. We, uh, we have a lot of places, not just regular se uh, season games, but bowl games. And I promise you, I can't even think if there was one person left in Youngstown, Ohio, because they were all there with us cheering on the Oklahoma Sooners. And I'd like to recognize uh, those that are here. First and foremost, the mother, favorite person, Mrs. D. Stoops. Welcome, D. Bob's, Bob's brother and wife are here, Ron and Bonnie Stoops. Bob's sister, Reenie's here, Reenie Farragher. Bob's sister, Kathy, is here, Kathy Stoops. Welcome, Kathy. Of course, a uh, person that was here and then came back, our uh, defensive coordinator and his wife, Mike Stoops, with Aaron. Mike. <laughs> Brother Mark um, wanted to be here, but uh, head coach at the University of Kentucky had their spring game last night. He wasn't able to make it. And a person that uh, was really always ushering the Youngstown contingent into, uh, into Norman for big games is here. Uh, Uncle Bob Soups, we call him Super Bob. <laughs> Welcome, Bob. I mentioned the players, and I mentioned you, our fans. After his family, Bob always focused on you, especially the players. Even those that were here when he first started, everybody was part of this incredible tradition that we've celebrated over 18 years. It doesn't happen in college athletics anymore. It just doesn't. And we're so fortunate that we were able to be together to celebrate so much success. Coach Stoops, the winningest coach 
in Oklahoma history with 190 victories. Ten Big 12 championships. No one in this conference has won anywhere close to that. Played in four different national championship games, and of course we wanted to win them all, but we still won the 2000 national championship game. The success, the only coach in history to win every one of the major bowls, Rose, Sugar, Orange, Cotton, think about that, it just doesn't happen. We just mentioned, the facilities improvement that have happened since Coach Toops have been here, over $250 million. Our seating capacity grew by over 14,000. And because of you and many like you, every game in the tenure of Coach Toops has been sold out. Every game. We could go on and on in celebrating so much that is part of making Oklahoma what it is. Still, the winningest program in modern day college football history. Thanks to coaches and players and you the fans that help put this program in a special position. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here this morning. And now um, I'd like to bring a person that uh, was certainly an enormous part of the renaissance of Oklahoma football. Hiring both of us. I've said last night, said a couple other times, the three of us together for 18 years, I guess now with the way the college football playoff era has been formed, you could probably say that we were the last vestiges of the BCS. Boren, Castiglione, and Stoops. And now with both of them retiring, I don't know what that means for me, but uh, I said that the coffee club they're going to have together is going to be something else. Wouldn't we all love to be invited to that once in a while? But I'd like for you to not only join me in welcoming, but expressing sincere and genuine appreciation for someone who's done something that no one in Oklahoma has ever done. He served this state in the legislature. He served us as a two-term governor, starting at the age of 33. Three terms as a United States Senator, and left what was one of the most popular tenures of any United States Senator in America to come back and serve the University of Oklahoma, now for 24 years. Over 51 years serving the state of Oklahoma. It is absolutely remarkable. And um, we'll be thanking him and Molly Shyborn forever for how they transformed every aspect of this university and helped us have an even sense of pride. And we're going to continue to build on that and take this program in that upward trajectory that they started. Ladies and gentlemen, Sooner fans, former players, coaches, special people that are here, join me in welcoming our president, David L. Boren. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much, Joe, and thank all of you for being here this morning. I deeply appreciate, Joe, those kind remarks, and let me say, as I left the celebration last night and as we drove home, I thought to myself, how lucky can you be? How lucky can you be as a president of the University of Oklahoma? When, when we got here, our football team was in trouble. Our athletics program in some ways was being decimated by millions of dollars in debt back to the University of Oklahoma, and it's been turned around. Be more 
Lucky than to have Joe Castiglione of Athletic Director and Bob Stoops as head football coach. What a ride it's been, how wonderful it's been, and thank you all for that. It's been incredible. In fact, my own classmates in college have, have looked at me and said, who's the least likely member of the graduating class to ever be involved in a big way in intercollegiate? athletics. I'm that person and you're looking at that person. They're still all amazed and you know what made it all happen. These people who've been up here before you and those we're getting ready to honor in just a minute. So it's a cold morning but I think you all are going to remember for years to come that you're glad that you were here. You're glad that you were here when you pass this statue of Bob Stoops future and you go into the stadium, this stadium in which in so many ways he helped to build and we'll be forever grateful and you're going to be glad that you were here this morning because you had a chance to say thank you, thank you to the man who made so much of this possible and that's why we're all here this morning Bob to say thank you to you. That's why we're here. No, it has been special. If you were president of a university, what would you want in your head football coach? You would want a person that always does what he thinks is right. And as I was listening to Joe Castiglione list the victories that Bob has won and list the rec incredible record that he has had, I had one thought in my mind. Yes, he won, and he won the right way, and that's what makes us proud. He stood up for what is right, and he ran a program in a clean, honest way, and he built young men as you should build them. And that's what we're grateful to Bob for, the kind of person that he is. He has not only been a great football coach, and we know that. We know that from his record. But beyond that, and above that, I would say, Bob Stoops is a great person. He is pure gold. His character we admire. His moral courage we admire. And we thank you, Bob, for the kind of leadership that you provided for this football program. We thank you for the person you are. We value you, and we value not you as a friend to all of us and a friend that means so much to us. This great football program, the great tradition we have at the University of Oklahoma was in deep trouble when Bob Stoops got here. And it took a remarkable person to rebuild this program, to rebuild the staff, to reinvigorate it with the kind of tradition of winning and the self-confidence required in our players who were there last night, many of them and many of them here this morning, the kind of self-confidence it takes to win victories. And that man rebuilt this program, a great leader, a multi-talented leader that it takes. Bob Stoops did exactly that, and that's why we're all here to celebrate this morning. You rebuilt this program from the ground up. You know, you passed on this program in great shape to your successor, and I know he appreciates it, and, and I know he'll carry on this tradition. But it was, our tradition was slipping, and Bob Stoops rebuilt it. Bob Stoops was responsible in many ways. When I think about looking up at this new part of our stadium, I think about it that Bob Stoops will be forever given credit for making it happen. So, so we pay tribute to you, Bob, today, not only as a coach, but we pay tribute to you as a person and what you stand for. You know, in 18 years, and we worked closely together, and there's some of those moments I'll never forget, when we had problems, when we had uncovered problems in the program, when we were ranked number one, for example, in the entire nation, and we found that we had trouble in our program. We found that we had a player that had to be replaced. And I, I asked Joe Castiglione and Bob Stoops to come to my office. And they came in for a difficult decision about what to do. And I asked them, what do you think we should do? And without hesitation, Bob Stoops said, we must do what's right. We must do what's right, not only for the player, 
but for the program. We must say it. Oklahoma is a role model, not because of, only because of winning. Oklahoma is a role model but for doing what is right. And that's what makes us proud as Sooners. And that's what makes me grateful to Bob Stoops because I never had a question in my mind as president of the university that Bob Stoops was going to do what was right and that he was going to make us proud of his decisions. So today we say thank you to Bob and we say thank you to many people who worked with him. And we say thank him, we thank him. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob, for always making sure that we were winning, but we were winning the right way. Thank you for caring. And that's another thing that we all want. You want someone as a head coach at the University of Oklahoma who cares deeply about his players, who cares about these young people, who touches their lives and makes a difference in their lives and makes them live up to all that they can possibly be in their lives. And that's what Bob has done. And he and Carol have nurtured this, this group of players as a family, as their family. As Carol looked down last night, I, I heard her think about each one of them that we were looking down upon as players and, and all that they have meant to each other. And, and it's a true family. The University of Oklahoma is a family in a special way, as Joe has just said. And that's remarkable. Sometimes in this day and times, people raise questions about college athletics. And they say to call our students student athletes, is it really accurate? to think about them not only as players, but as people, and to develop their talents to the fullest. Does that really happen anymore? Or is that something that's a romantic notion of college athletics from bygone days? I can tell you that here at the University of Oklahoma and how proud we are, collegiate athletics still stands for something. And it stands for making a difference in the lives of young people and providing them with an opportunity that they wouldn't have otherwise. That's why we're all proud to be Sooners. And so I'd say today, thank you, Bob Stoops. Thank you for the victories that you brought. Thank you for the victories that you brought by winning in the right ways. Thank you for all the lives that you've changed. Last night, for example, it was Bob's volunteerism at the Children's Hospital was recognized. And today, all of us gathered together, Bob. Thank you for loving the children of Oklahoma. Thank you for encouraging them. Thank you for making a difference in their lives. Thank you for so many things that you've brought to us. Thank you for always doing what is right. Thank you for your moral courage to do what is right. Thank you for this lo your loyalty to this institution because when the history books are written, it will be written that Bob Stoops, although he had many opportunities to go elsewhere, and I know about that personally, he had many opportunities. Bob Stoops chose to make his entire head coach career in college football here at the University of Oklahoma. He's a Sooner. He chose to be a Sooner. He chose to stay a Sooner. And we're forever grateful to him for that. So thank you, Bob. Thank you for thank you for this stadium. Thank you for this program. Thank you for the health of this program. Thank you for the strength of this program. Thank you for always doing what is right. Thank you for having the courage to do what is right. So today is your day. And we hope it's a special day for you, and we hope you feel the love and affection of all of us. Thank you, Bob Stoops, for all that you have done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my, it's my honor to present to you what I, the person I introduce so often as the greatest head coach, college football coach in the nation. And I met it, and then you know what? It has the virtue of being true. Uh, when he was our head coach, I, I knew that the University of Oklahoma had the greatest head coach in this country because of the quality of person, not only because of the coach he, he is, but because of the person he is. So again, let me ask all of you to join me in thanking Bob Stoops as he comes to this podium. Thank you, Bob Stoops, for all of you.
know you didn't. Thank you, President Board. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. You're Thank the best. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're going to turn the mic to you. Okay. Thank you. Careful, President Board. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'll look at all of you. I thought there'd be like 50 here. So uh, um, <clears throat> we're again uh, just uh, first begins. Uh, said I've I've had uh, been here 18 years all of my career. I've, uh, I'm one of you. I'm I'm an Oklahoman. People I, I used to say when people asked me where I was from, I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. Not anymore. I've been here longer than anywhere in my life. 18 years and 19 years, so I'm an Oklahoman right now, forever, forever, will always be here. And uh, what, a, what an incredible honor. I, I would first start by, by thanking President David Bourne and Molly, been great, great mentors and friends to us, Carol and I, and, um, and for the opportunity, you know, here at Oklahoma. And Joe Castiglione as well for them coming and, uh, you know, me and, and giving me the chance to, to be the head football coach at such a storied, storied program. Uh, this is truly one of the all-time best, as you, as you all know. And, and, uh, and it's an incredible honor to be across in, in, this, in this plaza here, across from Barry Switzer, who's here. So, so appreciate, Coach. Uh, been a great friend to me from the day I, I arrived here. In fact, one of my favorite pictures is me at the podium at Evans Hall. And... Uh, Barry's right, right next to me. So uh, with, he, along with all the, the former players, have been, been great support through the years, been great friends, and have really helped us. And, and again, can't believe I'm in, a, in this plaza also with Bud Wilkinson, Benny Owen, Barry Switzer, to, to have this happen. It's almost like I, 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 it still hasn't really hit me. And uh, don't know when it ever will. You know, it just, it, it's like it, it, it's not real. But... Um, um, I have to thank all of you, 18 season, 19 now, going on 20 next year, sellout stadiums, great crowds. You guys are the best fans in the country, and, and no one else is doing that. So, I, and I genuinely, genuinely and sincerely appreciate you. Yeah, this all doesn't happen uh, without, with, without all of you. And I, I said that when, when I was hired the day, I, uh, that first day on Evans, uh, out in front of Evans Hall, I said when we turn this program back around to what it's supposed to be, uh, when Coach Wilkinson and Coach Switzer were here winning in championships, when we get it to that point, it will not be because of me. It will be because of the collective efforts of everybody, including you, the fans. And you helped us do it. You really did. Uh, I've got to give a huge thanks, uh, of course, to uh, not only our administration, uh, my assistant coaches through the years. Uh, Assistant coaches, heck, eight, nine, ten of them have gone on to become head coaches, and um, and and they, you know, they are a great support system for me, and they helped us get it done. It, it wasn't just me; it wasn't just the co assistant coaches, our support staff, our medical staff, on and on and on. Uh, everybody had a had a strong hand in it. The players, they're the best. Uh, the best part of this job was working with these young men every single day getting a chance to go to meetings, get on the field with them, enjoy their presence. It's the best part of the job. And I, I'm grateful for their commitment, their hard work, and their toughness uh, to, to endure their four or five years here to, to help us win these championships. Um, I especially want to thank my family, my, my Youngstown family that's here, was uh, recognized here earlier. And, um, you know, they come from a family of coaches and uh, they've they've helped me along the way and I, I said it last night it's pretty funny I, I said if there was a problem in the house or a fight in the house you can bet I was in the middle of it so uh, thanks for their patience with me my 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 sons uh, Isaac and Drake uh, for uh, and, and Mackie my daughter uh, you know the coach's life is different our hours are different we're up late and you know, and uh, get home late and, and gone a lot. But uh, in fact, one, one time I come in from a recruiting trip, I had been gone a week and I had a knock to get in the house because they were eating dinner and I didn't have my key. And Isaac, at five years old, opens the door, looks at me and announces to everybody in at the dinner table, hey, everybody, Bob Stoops is here. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so we've had, and then my wife Carol for her her toughness and and uh, encouragement all along her leadership. She was a she was a great uh, strength to me and constantly reminding me of what what's the joy of what I do and it's you know the competition and being able to work with great young guys every day and she constantly was reminding me of that in tough times that we had here and there but um, anyway Carol for your patience because it's been a hard tough ride but let me tell you yeah it has been the 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 privilege of a lifetime to, to be the head football coach here. I couldn't have asked for more, been so incredibly blessed um, and, and just feel so fortunate all the time for, for this opportunity and grateful for it. Um, I said last night, you know, you're going to, when they reveal the statue, it looks exactly like me. I just, I just wish it was more handsome. It just, <laughs> really not a very good looking uh, statue, so. No, but my, my appreciation to Mr. Paul Moore, I, he did an excellent job, put a lot of hard work into it. And, and again, for all of the administration and people who, who wanted, uh, you know, who wanted it to happen and made it happen. And so many of you that, you know, that are friends out there that contributed to it. Um, again, I thank you and I, I, I surely appreciate you. Uh, the last thing I would say is there's plenty of room in here for, for another statue. And I believe in 25, 30 years, Lincoln Riley will have another one sitting right in here with the rest of us. So, so we're, we're proud of, you know, really excited about what the current staff and Lincoln are doing right now and uh, really believe uh, we're on our way to, to, to continued great success. And uh, again, I look forward to that time when the statue's up here. Boomer Sooner. I want to, uh, yeah, that's it. Sooner. Boomer. Sooner. Boomer. Sooner. Billy. <laughs> it's just a phenomenal crowd here this morning. It, it's incredible. Um, in a few minutes, after uh, we unveil the statue, uh, we're going to invite everyone to uh, enjoy a, a little bit of time walking around the grounds and then go into the stadium. And I know Coach Riley would have wanted to be out here, but they're getting ready for the spring game. The concert will start at 1230, and then the spring game itself will start at 115. I'm going to, uh, again, I, I don't know, Bob, mentioned, but we, we need to say something um, and by our applause, because we, uh, we, we need to recognize Carol Stoops, because she has uh, done an amazing job. I, Carol, I want you to stand up so we can recognize you. Ladies and gentlemen, Carol Stoops, thank you for everything that you've done. Some of you will remember this. You know, Bob had, he pulled these little things out of his pocket. Usually when uh, people were trying to discredit the University of Oklahoma or, or maybe not give the University of Oklahoma enough credit. And there's one in particular that comes to mind. And uh, I hope you understand that this is being brought forward in, in sort of a, a symbolic way. When we uh, think about this statue, something has been written this week about how it unceremoniously showed up here in Norman, Oklahoma. <laughs> like it's a piece of refrigeration equipment, you know. <laughs> I think back to uh, when we were making our first appearance in the Rose Bowl. You know, it was very unique back then that someone outside or an institution outside of a Big Ten conference or a Pac-12 conference school would be a participant in the Rose Bowl. It was very unusual. 
And that year, um, the Big Ten champion uh, played in the uh, national championship game and put up a spot. And they, of course, invited the University of Oklahoma. And there was some comments that were being made, I don't know, about Oklahoma coming out here and messing with our tradition. And I remember Bob said something, uh, something like, well, hey, you know, we're not just coming out there on a load of wood, you know, and then to California on a load of wood. So it's kind of ironic that when the uh, statue was transported uh, from the foundry up here to Oklahoma on a flatbed trailer, the bed was made out of, of course, wood. So Bob, I'm sorry, but you actually did ride in here on a load of wood. <laughs> well now, again, as, as Coach Stoops said, I'm going to invite all of the family to come forward and come around this, this statue right now. So as they're coming up here to uh, come around the statue, I, uh, I want to recognize again the incredible career of Coach Stoops, the uh, excitement that he's provided to us, as much about what he's done on the field to uh, think about what he's done off the community service, the support for people all over the place, what his foundation has done. And I, again, want to thank him for what he continues to do. Last night, uh, a special award was announced that will be given to a very unique volunteer at the Children's Hospital in the University of Oklahoma, because Bob Stoops has inspired volunteerism like they've never seen throughout the Children's Hospital and the Oncology Unit. So the winner of this year's first and forever known Champions for Children's Award was Bob Stoops himself. And forevermore it will be known as the Bob Stoops Champions of Children's Award. You okay? No, you're okay. We're taking uh, taking some precaution here. You okay, ladies and gentlemen. We love our president, David Bourne. Just taking some precautions. Let's, uh, let's all uh, say a little prayer. Everything's going to be okay. Thank you very much. Well, um, they don't give you a script for this, but uh, I, uh, I think that um, knowing, knowing that uh, how much President Bourne and Molly were involved in this day, uh, I think 
that uh, we will respectfully um, maybe just drop drop the uh, ring of, of uh, the statue of Bob Stoops, and we will um, thank each and every one of you again for what you have done to make this program so special. As Coach Stoops mentioned, and he said it just like he described a few minutes ago. When you see this statue, you see every one of you. You see every player, you see every coach, you see every staff member that made it possible. The most unselfish person that you could ever be with and be around and have such stature profession. Absolutely a Hall of Fame person and certainly a soon to be Hall of Fame coach in every way. So let's, um, let's just go ahead and just drop the statue Give a great round of applause for Coach Stoops for everything he's done. And we'll think about President Boren as we're taking just some precautions, you know, make sure that he's okay. Ask the family to come up. Thank you, Bob. My heart. Thank you for 18 great years. A phenomenal working relationship. And one especially thank you for the selfless act you've done in supporting our program and putting it in a great place under our new head coach, Lincoln Riley. The C of Oklahoma, thank you for being here. We'll see you inside at the spring game. Boomer! <laughs> <laughs>